Hello there and thank you for joining me once again at my bench and it's quite a stormy rainy day out there today so I figured it'd be a good day to for me to do up another tutorial for you and this time around it's a streamer pattern and a very very simplistic streamer pattern it's simply called the marabou streamer and this particular time I chose the yellow and once again it's a very versatile pattern you can change up your marabou of course for the wing and most of them for the body call for a tinsel body like silver or gold but I'm using some gold uh, small Aztez Genio for the body and a red tail and red throat but like I say you can experiment and change you can there's a whole array of colors that you could choose and uh, and they catch all sorts of fish trout I've caught trout on it bass and whatnot so I thought this might be a good pattern to show you. It's a simple tie, so let's get started here. I'll get this guy at the vise, a fresh hook in, we'll get started. And for the hook, I'm using a must-head streamer hook, 79580. It's a 2X heavy and a 5 extra long. I'm going to use a size 6. And I tie them the largest, a size 4, and usually down to an 8. So we'll get this guy locked in the vise here. Okay. And I'm using UTC 140 in black. So we'll simply get our thread base started, about a hook eye length behind here or so. And we'll get a nice base down towards the uh, barb on the hook there. Okay. And we'll just work that down. And I'll get rid of that tag in the thread there. Okay, I'll come back to about just in front of my barb there. Alrighty. And like I was saying, the tails were at hackle barbels, and I'm using saddle hackle. And I'm, I like to use the, uh, the soft portion down at the lower section on the feather. So I'll pull off in a small bunch of those for the tail. And like I say, it doesn't have to be an exact amount of fire, but you can. Have a little thicker tail you wish or sparse or it's one of those patterns that you can change them up and i want that about the length of the uh, hook gape or a little bit longer sometimes doesn't really matter all right there's our tail a few wraps for now okay for the body or i got my head tails here now you also can tie this as a weighted version if you want to put some lead wraps underneath but this time around there's tie it without the uh, weight so we'll catch our body material in here just like so now we'll wrap all this forward here up towards the eye just wrapping that all down and I'll come back down and back up one more time to make sure it's all in there secure and tight and we'll stop our thread where we want to tie everything off there. Okay, now I don't worry about these little ends of the S test sticking up. They won't hurt anything. They'll be all covered, buried up once we wrap the body. And I'm going to throw in a little half hitch because I'm going to use the uh, rotary function here to wrap the body. So I'll swing my bobbin cradle around here. And I'm going to take a little tiny drop of super glue, zap a gap here on, along the shank, a couple little drops. Because if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I like to make a durable fly. Try to catch as many fish on it as possible. And the first couple wraps I'm going to make by hand, which I usually do. I like to start it with my fingers first. Just checking where it's at there. I want it to come back just to hear more. Okay, right about there is where I want it once I get it situated. There we go. Okay, one more wrap. Alrighty, now we can start wrapping with our rotary function here. And this will go along fairly smoothly. Just keep wrapping forward. Just like so, until we get where we want to tie off. A couple more wraps. Okay, right there is fine. Swing that back out of the way. Okay. Now I'll come in and tie the 
it off. Okay, a couple wraps, and then lock it in place. Alright, come in and snip that off nice and close. Alrighty, and there's our body. Now, the throat, same as the tail. We've got some red hackle barbels here. Now, I'll strip off another small amount off the feather here. Usually a tad bit more than the tail, not a lot more, just a little bit more fibers. And the throat on these, I usually always like to keep them about halfway down the body as a rule, but it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, give that on with a pinch loop. And a couple snug wraps there. Reach in with my scissors. And Sorry for the blocking the view there. Alright, turn it back up the other way. And there's our thread. Just going to spin my bobbin a little bit to cord that thread up. Alright, okay, next is our wing. And I have a marabou palm here. One thing I like to do when I'm working with uh, marabou is keep a little dish of water handy. Because marabou is much easier to manage when it's wet so I'll just wet my fingers here and soak this down there we go that there is much easier to tie in than, and it'll dry out as as as, your, as it go, time goes on there it'll dry back out now the wing I like to keep it about even with the tail there if you go hair past it's not so bad but now if you go too long as you know it'll foul on you so I'm going to come up with a pinch wrap between my fingers, pull straight down, then I'm going to come around with the thread and pull straight up, just like so, make two turns there, just going to spin that bobbin again, a couple wraps, snug it down. Okay, now I'm going to come with my scissors, trim the bearaboo on an angle, just like so. There we go. Alrighty. Now, the last ingredient is our topping, and I have, I use three strands of peacocker on the top. You can add more if you like, if you want a thicker topping on it, and actually you could tie it without it if you wish. But I just find it adds a little extra to it. And the original pattern calls for it, so. Alright. I'm going to line those up right on top here. Tie them in the same as the wing. Come up with a pinch wrap between my fingers. Pull straight down, then I'm going to pull up on it. Spin that bobbin once again. And then we'll just simply wrap back. Like so. There's our topping on the wing. Trim those. Okay, I'll check to see where my thread is there. Just going to turn it to the side here. I'm just making sure my thread wraps are laying where I want them. A couple more wraps back and then forward. And there we have it. Just about done, the sky is. Almost there. Okie dokie, now. I'm going to take this tiniest amount of super glue here, zap the gap, before I build the head. Put a little tiny drop there. Okay, and I'll spin my bobbin. And we'll begin to build the head up on this guy here. Covering all that material up. Alrighty. There we have it. It's a done deal. Like I say, your marabou, once that dries, it'll look just like this guy here. Once it dries, as you know, it'll puff back out again. It'll look fine. Okay. So, last step is to whip finish. Now I'm going to counterclockwise spin my bobbin to flatten that thread out a little bit before I do my whip finish. Okay. And we'll give that three or four turns here. It's plenty. 
just like so. And tie that off. Alrighty, folks. Now snug down nice and tight. Trim our excess. And that marabou is starting to dry already, as you can see. It's starting to puff out now. Alright, one last step is some solarized bone dry on the head of the fly and cure that and we're done here. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my needle here. And I'm going to work that around the head of the fly. Covering all the thread wraps. Just, just like so. Okay, that should be fine. A little bit more there on the side. Okay. Now I'll just grab my UV torch here and cure this guy up here. Okay, and there we have another size 6 Mirabu streamer. And like I say, you can tie these in a lot of different colors and sizes and they will catch a lot of different fish it's a very versatile streamer pattern so i thought you folks might like to see this one and there we have it that marabou's pretty well all dry now so okay i'll see if i can get a little close-up on them here for you the folk was going out of whack on me so anyway like always I want to thank you all for watching my videos and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more tutorials don't hesitate to hit the good old subscribe button and uh, throw in a like too if you wish and until next time everyone I want to thank you for watching happy tying out there and we'll see you all again soon so long for now, folks.